Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Puente, founder of ApolloniaPuente.com, your dating and relationship coach. I'm so happy you're here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about, is she using me? But before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel where I share up-to-date dating and relationship advice. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now let's go into this heated topic about, is she using me? I see this so much and I know you can think, well, men are watching this and they're thinking, well, if she's using me, then just let her go. But sometimes men be under, understand that a man can't tell the difference between a woman that's using him and a woman that's not. And some can and more power to you if you can. But this is why I created this video for you men, because I believe the men that I work with and the men that book private coaching sessions with me or download any of my books or programs or eBooks want to get better at love, want to find love. And since you commit to educating yourself on love and how to be better at it, I commit to you that I will continue to give you advice on exactly the topics that you need. And this is why I wanted to do this video is because I see this so much. And yes, us women can be pretty manipulative, right? We can all be manipulative and we can't control the people sometimes that continue to show up in our lives that are manipulative, but we can spot out the ways that they are and then say goodbye to them. So that's why I wanted to make this video and I'm going to give you tips right now that you might be going through if you are watching this video because of the fact that you might be thinking that this woman is using you. So let's get started. Tip number one, you have to pay for everything and it has to go her way all the time. Now, I know that in my videos, I say as a man, sometimes you should pay if you're asked the woman out on the date, but if you're continuing to date her, she has to somewhat show up and want to contribute in some way. Now, I want you to pay attention to these behaviors when you're on a date with her too. The woman that's using you might be the woman that orders the most expensive glass of champagne, orders the most expensive bottle of wine, the plate of food all the time, and it continues to ask you things and probably doesn't even thank you. That is the key. But also you want to make sure that she reciprocates as well and you give her the option to reciprocate. So it doesn't mean that she has to take you out on these fine dining experience that you may do for her, but she wants to, you want to challenge her to create something for you. Let's just say, I always tell my men clients, challenge her and tell her to show you what she likes to do. This is how you can tell if a woman is using you because she won't care to show you the things that she likes to do because that takes time, it takes effort, and it takes thought. So that is a great way that you can challenge a woman if you're thinking that she may be using you. Tip number two, she avoids serious talk. She doesn't want to talk about her family. She doesn't want to talk about her friends. She doesn't want to talk about her emotions. She doesn't want to talk about her feelings with you. You might ask her, where do you think this is going? How do you feel about me? I don't know. Let's just see where it goes. Or maybe time will tell. I'm not too sure. This is just too new. Or I like to take things slow and continues to avoid this conversation. Tip number three, she only wants to do things that are convenient and pleasing for her. So that's why I mentioned that challenge in tip number one, how I always tell my men clients to challenge the woman to show them an interest or something that they like and to plan it out for you. Because this is how you can really cultivate not only an emotional bond with a woman if she likes you, but also get your answers quick because of the fact that a woman that's using you, she only wants to do things that are convenient and pleasing for her because she only has something to gain. And that is what she's in this relationship for. So pay attention to her habits and what is she doing? So if you invite her out, I'm going to give you an example of how she can be doing this. If you invite her out to maybe let's just say uh, for a drink at the bar and she comments, well, where do you want to go? And that place is not good enough for her. And she always comes back and says, no, I'd rather go here. And it's probably either more, more expensive or maybe it's not intimate. And it's where she can be with other people and maybe just mingle with other people. And it's a hot spot where she can scope out other people. Pay attention to those habits and make sure it's not only about her, that this is where you want to go. And if you do see her doing this, I dare you to challenge her and say no you want to go here and see how she responds. And if she doesn't go out with you, then that's not a good sign. She's probably using you. Tip number five, she does not care to know you and she might not even know your last name. Ask this girl, what's your last name? 
ask her questions about conversations that you had previously in the past that are privately that are equivalent for her to remember so you don't want to just say you know what was the thing that i talked about two hours ago i mean ask her a question remember i told you about my siblings do you know like if i have a brother or a sister those are the things that you want to ask her because you want to see if she's paying attention to you because a woman that is not wanting to know about you will always just pretend like she's there maybe and kind of go in one ear and out the other. But you can challenge her by asking her those questions and see how she's showing up. And then I dare you to ask her why she's not remembering. And she'll be like a deer in the headlights because I love my women clients too and I love my men clients and that's why I coach both. I never wanted to be in a position where I only coached one because of the fact that I learned so much from the both of you and I can help the both of you so much more, I believe. That's why I created an ebook called The Seven Common Mistakes That Men Make When Attracting a Woman. And I'm actually gonna put that below in the description box because in that ebook, I go into the way a female brain operates, not only mine, but out of the several clients, woman clients that I have coached. Make sure you download that if you found yourself in this scenario. Tip number six, she does not talk about feelings or emotions and she's mentally not there. Pay attention to her body language, meaning is she looking around? Is she looking at other people? Is she playing with her hair? When you talk to her, is she just at the dinner table like this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and then look, checking out her phone, you know, like just seems uninterested. You don't want a woman that is uninterested in you men because you might be attracted to that because of the hard to get feeling, but at the end of the day, you don't deserve that because there's so many quality women out there that can give you that opportunity and that attention that you deserve. Tip number seven is maybe she's just wanting sex and you might be just sleeping together. Maybe that's happening right now for you and she might be using you for sex. The way that you can figure this out is by these things that I've talked about, these tips before the previous ones, but also she might not want to stay over. She might not want to be there in the mornings with you. After sex, she might just leave right away or wait until you fall asleep and not build that emotional connection. Now, I want to be clear here when I say this is because a lot of women that use you for sex are emotionally unavailable and they're not going to be able to show emotions for you. And if you're looking for a relationship and if you're looking for something sustainable, I challenge you to pay attention to these qualities that a woman is offering and understand that there is so much better out there and you deserve better. If you are a man that continues to show up and educate yourself on how to become a better man, because one, you're here watching this video and two, you've taken the initiative to either book a private coaching session or download one of my eBooks or manuals to help you advance in this dating life, then I commend you for that. I commend you so much for that because of the fact that there's so many men that don't do it and men are wait and women are waiting for a man just like you. So if you find yourself right now in a situation where you like a woman and she might be using you, remember what I said and also you can really find out a lot about a woman when you need her or when you are in trouble. You find out the best and friendships and relationships when you are in trouble, right? Of who are the people that come through. And that is something you always have to remember. And remember, you don't need a woman to validate you. You need a woman to enhance your life and for you to share an amazing opportunity with, to build a future with, and that's all. If you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, I want to hear from you. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that a woman may be using you? And how did you handle it? Did you handle it by saying bye? Or did you handle it by maybe overly getting emotional? I want to hear from you just so I know. And if you have any questions, comment below and I'll answer them personally. And like always, until next time, I'll see you soon. And remember, you are always loved. Bye.